we found it. It took a while, but we found the connection. For a long time, people referred to the era we were living in as either pre-9-11 or post-9-11. Then it was pre-COVID and post-COVID. Now it's going to be pre-assassination and post-assassination. We are now living in an entirely different world and people just haven't realized it yet. They haven't woken up to it. But we found the connection. Anything you say now can be held against you regardless of how long ago it was. And we found something that was said by, at that time, President Obama that is incredibly relevant and connected to the events of the last 72 hours. What's going to happen when, and then you fill in the blank. What's going to happen when, and then you fill in the blank. Who remembers Congress talking about unity, singing, what was it, the national anthem, God Bless America, right after 9-11? Remember all the calls for unity then? How many remember that long ago? 23 years ago. And what happened right after? Trust me, it's all connected and it is way too hot, way too controversial for YouTube. I wish I could share it, but the world we're living in now, if you want the truth, if you really want the truth, join us over at the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. I'm sure to a lot of you, it'll be worth the dollar, especially when the dollar is fully refundable. It's $1 for the video. No, not for the video, per month. That means if you sign up, you've got a month. Peruse all the videos. Watch that video a hundred times. Just posted it. Just posted it not so long ago, maybe about an hour ago. People are already watching it. And believe me, the reactions are jaw-dropping because a lot of people will remember the connection. They just have forgotten because it's been so long since 9-11. A lot of people can't wrap their mind around the idea that it was 2001, it's 2024, that it was 23, it was almost a quarter century ago when that happened. But something occurred, and they talked about unity. That's the key. And once again, you have 90 days, by the way, not just a month, you have 90 days to peruse the Florida Maquis Patreon channel, and it's only one U.S. dollar per month. And then after the 90 days, if it's not for you, unlike virtually everything else in society today, full refund. No questions asked. But trust me, when you see the connections, one of the things that you're going to ask yourself is, my God, how did I forget about that? There's a $5 level over there, and there's a handful of videos, but they're really, I even sometimes hesitate to even talk about them here on YouTube, even though I can't show any of the content, because they're that controversial. It's Gen X level, meaning there was a time when we would watch comedy specials, and we would watch things, and our parents didn't really care for it much. But we lived in a society where things were messy and free. You see, Mark Stein, guest host extraordinaire on the Rush Limbaugh show, God rest his soul, said free speech is hate speech. It's for the speech that you hate, and also for all your speech that the other guy hates. If you don't have free speech, then you can't have an honest discussion. All you can do is what those stunted moronic boobs in Paris and Copenhagen, reference, referencing the attacks at the time, and Garland did, grab a, hmm, and, huh, grab a, hmm, and interesting analogy from way back then, but we just got the news that President Trump picked a never-Trumper to be his vice president. President Trump picked a never-Trumper to be his vice president. I remember catching a bunch of grief about uh, Ron DeSantis and all the things that allegedly disqualified Ron DeSantis. One of the big things was, he's Yale Skull and Bones. <laughs> Guess where J.D. Vance went to school? And he went there for a lot longer than Governor DeSantis did. Governor DeSantis was there for one year playing baseball, and that was it. Oh, but it gets even better. Gets even better. 
Guess what? I guess I should ask, what's the first image, the first thought, the first name perhaps, that comes to your mind when you see this image? Those from Gen X and uh, the boomers, of course, will know who this is or what it's a representation of. Guess what the name Vance means? Go into your Google, go into your DuckDuckGo, go into whatever, and type in the word Vance and then the word etymology, E-T-Y, M-O-L-O-G-Y, etymology. That's where you find the root of a word and what it means and what its translation is. That's right. That's what it means. Everybody was so excited in 2016 about the pick of Mike Pence. How do you feel now about Mike Pence? How do you feel about when you see this image? Kind of bugs you a little bit, doesn't it? How many remember this pick? Secretary of Defense, Mad Dog Mattis. And then later, first president in his lifetime, and his lifetime was a long time, who does not try to unite the American people, does not even, well, that's all going by the wayside. But just to be very clear, facts first. Facts first about J.D. Vance and those of you who are fans of J.D. Vance. And I also want all of you anti-DeSantis people to listen to this. If I had said this about Ron DeSantis, I would have probably agreed with you and said, yeah, you know, these things, even though Ron DeSantis is right now, even these things um, probably disqualify him. But we're going to go ahead and listen to facts first. During the 2016 U.S. presidential election, Vance, J.D. Vance, was an outspoken critic of Republican nominee Donald Trump in a February 2016 USA Today column. Oh, by the way, he was a CNN contributor too. He wrote that, quote, Trump's actual policy proposals, such as they are, range from immoral to absurd. In The Atlantic and on the PBS show hosted by Charlie Rose, Vance called Trump cultural heroin and, quote, an opioid of the masses. In October 2016, he called Trump, quote, reprehensible in a post on Twitter and called himself a never-Trump guy. In a private message on Facebook, he called Trump America's Hitler. By February 2018, when Vance needed, of course, Trump's endorsement to win his Senate seat, Vance began changing his opinion, saying Trump is one of the few political leaders in America that recognizes blah, 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 and then deleted all of the posts from his Twitter account. Deleted all of his posts. Mark my words. You see, they couldn't get it done with the liberals. How many of you remember the liberals talking about, you know what, all the liberals coming out of uh, journalism school saying, you know what, free speech really shouldn't be a thing because speech can be harmful. Speech can actually be harmful. It can, it can bully people, it can hurt people's feelings, and it can inspire people to do things that aren't good. Well, guess who's talking about restricting speech now? How many of you have this t-shirt? I thought mean tweets were a good thing. I could have sworn mean tweets are a good thing, but now everybody on the right, supposedly all of you walking around with constitutions in your pocket, are celebrating the idea of Morning Joe being pulled from the air because of, well, they say the Trump shooting, but it's because they believe that one of the anchors or one of their guests might say something that might hurt somebody's feelings or might influence somebody in a way that if they then took that thing and posted it online and somebody else saw it, that other person could then take it and then go do something horrible or heinous and we can't have speech that might possibly do something to offend or cause something. Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Best quote ever. Tyrion Lannister. One of the most immoral characters in the show when you tear out a man's tongue, you're not proving him a liar. You're only telling the world that you fear what he might say or the repercussions of what he might say because of what other people might do because of it. Also Game of Thrones, a wise king knows what he knows and what he doesn't know. And the final quote, of course, a good king knows when to save his strength and when to destroy his enemies. Now, I'm going to ask the question again, and I'm going, to, I'm going to hope that people have the ability to fill in the blanks. If you don't, join us at Patreon. 
what's going to happen when fill in the blank? What's going to happen when what are you going to do afterward? What's going to happen when fill in the blank? If you can't fill in the blank by everything that I've covered so far, if you can't fill in that blank, battlefield of the mind, you're stuck in an emotional death loop. Join us. Trust me, the answer, the rest of that sentence is worth the one refundable dollar. Trust me, it's something that when you see it, you're going to be like, holy cow, how did we miss this? How did we miss this? We knew all about this for so long. We knew all about this for so long. How are we not seeing it now? Safety at all costs, right? Safety for everyone at all costs. Protect that homeland. That's a hint. It's probably too big of a hint. But once again, I'll leave it there. Massive connection. Huge connection to when Obama took office. Because something was happening then, too. Are we living in pre-9-11 or post-9-11? Are we living in pre-financial collapse or post-financial collapse? Are we living in pre-COVID or post-COVID? Are we living in pre-assassination attempt or post-assassination attempt? Think critically for a moment. Take a breath and realize what you've missed. Nobody's talking about it, but it's right there in front of you. And I'll leave it there. Once again, let me reiterate, it's risk-free. Battlefield of the mind. One U.S. dollar per month, even less if you sign up for an entire year. It's like three pennies a day. Fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. God bless all of you who have been there. And trust me, down in the comments, many people will give you the attestations attestations that you need about the content over there being definitely worth the dollar. Thank you so much for your patience. Trust me, it's going to be one of them videos you want to see. God bless. Pray for each other. Pray for me, I'll pray for you. Lift each other up. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.